I like Lucky Walk. Yeah. And this is a winner's finals of the pool. So congrats to Phil for making it that far, and congrats to Lucky Walk. <laughs> So, uh, if you can see right there on the camera, Phil has written in that he's from Iceland. So Phil has moved to Iceland, probably to one of those crazy cities that I can't pronounce, like 17 letters in them. And the match is now live. So I'm actually not super familiar with Phil's modern day play. Like I haven't seen any of his more recent matches. I know that recently at the Foundry, he kind of took the Foundry, right? Like he took it off, with like out of SFAT's hands. Yeah. Um, you know, he gets a lot of experience, and as I say that, he uh, misses a ledge dash. Um, but he plays with homemade waffles a lot. That was his main partner. They both play, you know, spaces all the time. Yeah. Um, plays with S-Fat. Um, you know, he's not super technical, but he's very smart. Um, yeah. Argue, I think he's one of the best um, Shine Spikers on Sheik. Um, and he really, so one of the little trademarks of Phil is that he really loves dash attacking. Now, you mentioned earlier in the previous set that uh, with, when someone dash attacks excessively, it's it's a sign of desperation. It's a sign of, like, just over-aggressiveness. Yes. But what makes Phil's dash attacks um, more of a style and a signature rather than just desperation? Well, because um, he doesn't do it all the time, and when he does it, I mean, the thing about Fox is because there's this weird interaction where if you do the dash attack um, really close in, they, um, you know, you go across their shield. You cross them up, basically. Or and so if you try to shield grab it, you know, you miss, and it's frustrating sometimes. Um, but whoop de whoop is doing the correct punishes to these uh, dash attacks to be shielding. You can just shine out a shield and um, hope for a tech chase if they if the cross cancels. All right, if the chat knows where whoop de whoop or whoop de whoop, I'm going to say whoop de whoop, where whoop de whoop is from, uh, let us know. Yes. Give us a shout out for your homeboy representing at G3. And he's looking pretty solid, right? Yeah, he's absolutely looking really solid. He's keeping up with Phil. Uh-oh. Not looking too good for Mr. Whoopty Wop. And there, there we go. Lock. Oh. Is he going to convert here? No. That had no coverage on the ledge there. Okay, but it's still down to the <laughs> down to last dog tied first match against Phil. and. There was an SD, unfortunately, in the start, but ooh. Ooh, good pressure there. All right, we're seeing a little bit of a hesitation in, and some flubs from both players right now. And it's really tough, right? Because I, I think one of the worst feelings is, you know, when you're in a close set, you know you can win. Um, going down 0-1 is not fun. No. <laughs> it's it's not fun at all, and you just get like so tense and so you start to second like second guess the things that you know are guaranteed, like in friendly play or just on a good day for you. Yes. So, Phil wins game one. They go to Dreamland. I'm thinking that uh, Whoopi Whoop wants to play more of a kind of defensive game because uh, Phil was doing most of the approaching in, in game one, and so he wants a little bit more room. So I can, I can agree with that. As we see, um, Wolfie Wop is kind of playing a little bit more defensive, seeing yeah. what Phil will do, and then try to see if he can beat it. Good tech roll away. Ooh, interesting choice there with the grab. A little reaching there with the grab. Um, one of the things I um, like to tell new players is that if it's blatantly obvious that they can do something, um, as you try to tech chase or try to follow up, just don't do it because there's an obvious move that you want to do and your opponent's going to hard counter it. And what I mean is if you're like late on a tech chase and it's blatantly obvious that they can do something, just don't do it. Nice. All right. So 3-3. Uh, and I like how in a similar position, they, they both were edge guarding the incoming fox or the firefox that was coming into the side. And while Phil was able to succeed on it, Whoopi Wop dropped it. It's kind of it's kind of one of those experiences things that you're like, okay, this is what it should look like, just like after someone had killed it. Right. Oh. Some drop combos from uh, Phil that should have uh, been a lot longer. But it just seems like Phil has a lot of control. Um, haven't really 
been able to see Whoop Dee Whoop gain any kind of composure or presence on on the stage. And maybe Phil just needed that first match to get kind of get the kinks out of his gameplay. Yeah, um, I would, you know, I think so, but I still think he doesn't look really clean right now. I'm seeing a lot of missed inputs. <laughs> Careful to approach the ledge and guard Phil. Ooh, and he gave up the corner pressure there. Yep. And so, when Phil had control of the previous stock, um, he was able to convert. And we've seen Whoopty Wop have two to three different opportunities where he pretty much had Phil in a lock. All right, there we go. But Phil was able to get, like, tack on an extra 20 to 30 percent because Whoopty Wop wasn't able to capitalize on his position. Oh. All right, Phil has the corner pressure now. What is he going to be able to get with this? And it looks like he's widening the gap that Whoopty Wop works really hard to close. Just like Sheik Dittos, you know, when, or Sheik in general, um, as Sheik main, you, you're really cautious of what kind of moves you want to throw out because of the crouch cancel. Indeed. Um, that dash attack got crouch canceled earlier. And, you know, when you're a high percentage, you're at risk at, like, everything. Dash attack becomes lethal, nares, any form of aerials, grabs. Um, so being at high percentage, you know, opens up a world, realm of possibilities. And I feel like if Phil really wants to close out this game, and just end the set right here. He needs to stop dropping these like these pivotal edge guards. Yeah. Dash attack is so good. <laughs> I love Fox's dash attack. Ooh, that's unfortunate. Oh, and that was unfortunate too. <laughs> I don't know what that was. I'm not even gonna pretend as a commentator to know what he actually wanted to do. <laughs> commentator secret. Yeah. Just pretend, you know. Oh. No, I'm, I'm fine with the meta of saying I, I don't know what he was going for. Oh. Ooh. Not going to kill. Need oh, wow. I did. I, I'm surprised. At the very edge, the very precipice of the ceiling, gets a kill. I thought he was going to look for another 4%. Okay. Can he convert? Oh, man. All right. And it's that oh. very <gasps> and it's that very tense situation we were talking about earlier. This is for winners bracket life. Oh, oh my god, that was really close. Who wants it? Oh, Ooh. and Phil narrowly sc scrapes by game two. That was <laughs> that was a very very that was yeah that was a scrape. <laughs> 